word. Oh, I want to switch topics. I want to switch topics, and I want to just 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 a um, a general question, um, but not too deep because I want to go into the article. Is an apology good enough? For what? For let's uh, all right. So if someone bumps into you in the city, is apology good enough? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it depends on the bump. If the guy is looking directly at you and he's bumped into you purposely, yeah, and then gives you like a fake apology, then nah, it's not good enough. Yeah, not that extreme. Just a gentle, just a mistake. You know what I'm a, a gentle, yeah, a, a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay, so if someone says something <sighs> racial to you, is an apology good enough? Yeah. <laughs> There's so much nuance to that. For me personally, yeah, it, it depends. Like sometimes people don't me- mean it in the way that it came across. Right. Okay. The apology is more important like, to me. <laughs> is the apology a genuine like, apology? Yeah. Um. All right. So you've 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 got certain opinions on apology. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to share this screen. I don't know anything about uh, baseball, right? Um, but, uh, there's this kid, uh, the kid, a uh, man, Sho- Shohei Otani. He's going, he's on this streak of like, uh, 30 home runs or something like that. And Stephen A. Smith went on this rant on his show where he said some, some when stuff, When I look at Otani, right? he so- is big time. Babe Root, 33 home runs, batting 279. Got a 4 on one record with a 379 ERA as a pitcher. This brother is special. Make no mistake about it. But the fact that you got a foreign player that doesn't speak English, that needs an interpreter, believe it or not, I think contributes to harming the game to some degree when that's your box office appeal. It needs to be somebody like Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, those guys. And unfortunately, at this moment in time, that's not the case. To actually watch you, okay, I don't think it helps that the number one face is a dude that needs an interpreter so you can understand what well, the hell he's English saying a, in this helpful. country. And that's what I'm trying to say. Be, you know, be, in other sports, Max, like basketball, you notice, you know, Dirk Nowitzki was German and, 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 and uh, 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 Manu Ginobili and others were from other places. And guess what, Max? They spoke fluent English. You understood what they were saying when somebody was interviewing them. They didn't need an interpreter. It goes a long way. For some reason, with, with Major League Baseball, you got these guys that need those interpreters, and I think that compromises the ability for them to ingratiate themselves with the American public, that, which is what we're really point. talking about. So he goes on, point. he Not says so all this stuff, right? And then at the end of it, at the end of it, uh, the show, he must have got heaps of backlash, right? So he um, he sent this apology out. He said, let me apologize right now as I'm watching the things unfold. Let me say that I never intended to offend any community, particularly the Asian community. And especially showing, I'm going to stuff this up, Shohei Otani himself. As an African-American, keenly aware of the damage of stereotyping has done to many in this country, it should have elevated my sensitivity even more. Based on my words, I have failed in that regard, and it's on me and me alone. Otani is one of the brightest stars in all of sports. He is making a difference. Um, I screwed up. Uh, what else does he say? Albeit unintentionally, we're clearly insensitive, regrettable, rah, rah, rah. He, he, he goes on. The comments, the comments on this um, on this page from the Asian community, it, it the sentiment was that it was a backhanded apology. It was a backhanded yeah, he apology. Kind of u- he kind of used I got the I got an Asian friend, so I can't be racist kind of thing with being African American. Yeah, because you've experienced racism. Because you've experienced racism doesn't mean you can be racist to someone else. Yeah, that was the juxtaposition okay. that that he had there. He was like, "I'm I'm black, yeah. and I've I've had I've got racism, so I understand you. So I can. This is what the sentiment felt like. I don't know. What? Yeah, like 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 I've experienced racism. I think everyone here has experienced racism. Mm. Doesn't mean I can turn around and start being racist towards you two. Because I've experienced it. 
that's still not right. Mm. You can't get, get what I'm saying? Yeah. 100% I get what you're saying. Alexander? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll just be quite blunt and honest about this. My opinion of Stephen A. Smith is he's 100% out for himself at all times. He yeah. only cares about himself. And it's yeah. very obvious in the way that he reports things and very obvious by the way that he communicates things. Look, th- at the end of the day, him saying that, like, it, let's go beyond the racism. Let's talk about what his point was. Mm-hmm. Because the guy, regardless whether he needs a translator, does not impact his ability to play the sport. So it's not bad for his game. The guy, if people want to like him, if people want to purchase things about him, his, his merchandise, his jersey, whatever, they yeah. will. Yeah. So that translation doesn't impact his branding. The mm. only thing that barrier impacts is media access to him because it yeah. makes that conversation more difficult. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, Stephen yeah. A. Smith is part of the media. And this is something, like, I I love the fact that he threw in the NBA to try and make it a difference maker because they've talked about this for the past two years, especially in the last year, where they're talking about who's going to be the next face of the NBA because LeBron, you know, is going to be aging out of being in that role at some point. He's going to leave the league. And the amount of times they've talked, is it going to be Giannis? No, he's foreign. Is it going to, and Giannis can speak English. Is it going to be Luca? No, he's foreign. Like they want That's it to be an American born person. American, and the reason like they want America. That, yeah, and the reason they want that is because as media, it makes it easier for them to engage with the person because from a cultural standpoint, you, you understand each other more and easier. Mm-hmm. And then that makes them like Stephen A. Smith, he signed his last contract, I think it was ten million. Yeah. The guy who makes millions of dollars a year to share his opinion on stuff. Yeah. Like he literally day, adds no close. value to the industry other than entertainment in the way of his opinion and if he can't yeah. engage i think with people, joe rogan that makes his opinion less joe rogan valuable. was um joe rogan was against him joining the mma uh commentary he goes it works in uh the nba it works that loudness works there but it just doesn't work in the nba i think he had reservations for him to go and commentate with him um and give his opinion of course stuff. someone's gonna punch him in the mouth well, well, my thing is, my thing, in, my thing is with this, right? I'm not into the baseball. I'm not into baseball, but because this guy had a streak of 30 home runs, whatever, he he blimped. There was a blimp on my radar, right? I, I never heard of him. I've Me either. Never, I've yeah, never heard I'm, of him either. But yeah. like, I saw some clips. He's a giant of a bloke. This guy. He pitches and he bats. Like he's a he's oh, that's pretty right. So my thing, my thing is as an uh, as a like uh i don't even call myself asian australian i call myself aussie right so but when you're when you're a kid and you see someone on tv in a sport that you don't normally see like when you see someone like when you see with someone that looks like you on tv and you go yeah man he's playing baseball well i can i can play baseball like this guy made it. You know what I mean? It's like, I know it's big in Japan and in, I don't know if Korea, but it's big in Japan. But it's it's a whole subconscious thing for for kids growing up. Yeah. And like, I, I went back, I started thinking about, um, there was a movie, was it Jesse, who's the first black American in the in baseball? Jesse. Um, uh, Jackie Robinson. Jackie, Jackie Robinson. And I, I, the impact Jackie Robinson on had on kids growing up would have been massive to see a yeah you know what I mean so I, I, I'm not saying sure sure what's his name before I ruin it um mate you've you've butchered that name about four times Shohi, you might as well just continue Shohi Otani <laughs> the impact he has on any Asian American kid growing up or any Asian, Jap- and, like a Japanese, an Asian Japanese. If a Japanese kid sees it, and, they, they, they're like, oh shit, you know, like this is... And, and not just that, you may be able to market the sport to a whole new country. Like, Oh, it's big already, I think. Maybe there's some Asian, maybe there's some Asian countries that aren't really big onto baseball. Yeah. Right? Now they're seeing someone with similar backgrounds, similar upbringing, succeeding in that sport, it might 
open up channels for him as well. So that's why I brought up. Yeah, you're right, CJ. 100, you're right. But I wanted to bring up. Uh, that's why I brought up the apology. The apologies. The apologies that people give. Is it enough? Like that one? No, that's not enough. Oh, is it? Is it circumstance, situation by situation, or is there like? Yeah. Right, right. I, th- I, I think it is. I think it's just how sincere it is. But two things that I'm acutely aware of is one, if you commit your crime, uh, quote unquote crime on TV speaking with your voice, you should apologize on TV speaking with your voice. Yeah. Doing right. it as a written apology removes all sincerity to me. And you can do that as an addition. He's actually not even apologizing it apologizing to him. Yeah he did. He yeah. did. He, he he apologized to him. He he put his name in um capital letters. Um Yeah but like apologize to like if I did something to you Oh as a man I was yeah, like, yeah, right, right, right. I was like, I'm, so, I'm sorry, mate. You know, yeah. Like, like my bad. I, I misread the situation. My bad. With apologies in general, I'm gonna have final answers. Alexander is saying apologies is good enough in most um, situations. If if there's true sincerity, yeah. If the sentiment and the feeling behind it is true, then you're happy with that. And uh, uh, CJ, are you saying apologies in general, in most circumstances? I'm talking about 98% of the time. Is it is it good enough for you? As I said, it depends on the circumstance. Like 98% like of the circumstances. Like, if someone's punched me in the face, I'm sorry. Apologies. How, how often, often has that happened in your life? Of all the yeah, apologies like, you ever had? I've been punching. <laughs> uh, how does the... A majority of the apologies I've had of uh, all... uh, have, have been sentiment That's okay correct. Right. yeah but i'll take him as yeah. apology yeah yeah because right. <laughs> yeah, he's you love taking it to extreme um all right cool the b-side yes. word cool i like extremes <laughs>